Hi everyone, this is Joseph Alanre. Today we'll be looking at the nonlinear autoregressive distributed lag model, the nonlinear Helder model. But before I proceed, I'd like to distinguish between a linear model and uh, a nonlinear model. Now, a linear model assumes that uh, both positive and negative uh, changes in independent variable has have the same effect on the dependent variable. I mean, uh, let's assume that uh, a five million increase in income. Uh, uh, leads to three million increase in consumption. Now, a linear model assumes that a uh, five million decrease in uh, income would lead to three million decrease in consumption. Okay, but for a non-linear model, it assumes that uh, the effect of the positive and negative uh, changes in the uh, independent variable uh, uh, exact different effect on the dependent variable. Okay. I mean, uh, let's take the example we, we looked at at first. Uh, for nonlinear, if there's a 5 naira increase in income, it leads to 3 naira increase in consumption. Now, a 5 naira decrease in income uh, would not lead to 3 naira decrease in consumption. It might be more than 3 naira decrease in consumption, it might be less. So that's the essence of nonlinear model, that uh, it isolates the positive and uh, negative changes. In a, a, the in independent variable, the effect on the dependent variable. Now we we'll go to the estimation proper. But I must tell you that uh, nonlinear Hardell model estimator is not an inbuilt estimation uh, estimator in in heavy. So you need to download it, and you get it from you download it by going through hard in, and then you come and click on the uh, download hard in. Okay, when you click on it, uh, it's going to bring a series of uh, files. I mean the uh, estimator and then you can just scroll down to where you see the non Herodel model you see we find it there you click on it and then you install now I have it on the system already so there might not be me for me to install it again so take note of that now I want to go through the estimation proper uh, now for you to estimate a nonlinear Herodel model then you have to establish a baseline Herodel model okay so you come let's assume that we are taking the log of as as a dependent variable and then we consider external debt and government expenditure as an independent variable you know, normally you click on your dependent variable first then your uh independent variable you know so called subsequently you right click and then you open as a let's say equation when you open as equation you come to the box here and come and click on ALDL autoregressive distributed lab model okay let's assume we Hold all things constant, you click on OK. Now, when you click on OK, it brings you the linear result. Now, when it brings you the linear result, you come here and click on Harden. When you click on Harden, you come here, you see, make non linear. You no, know, this way, oh, it, it will appear after you must have installed it uh, from the Harden downloads. Okay? You click on it, let's see what we have. You see, we have no threshold variable. No threshold variable. Now, Previous version of EV will allow you to estimate nonlinear uh, ALDL without threshold variable, but the new version does not. And one of the uh, benefit of this new version is that it accommodates more than one asymmetric effect of uh, independent variable and independent variable. I mean, you can have as you can look for the nonlinear effect of as many variable as you want as the independent variable on the dependent variable. Okay, so how do we rectify this? Okay, just click on OK, come to view here, yeah? when you come to view, come to label, here yeah, you can now specify your threshold variable, here yeah, you type R, A, S, Y, okay, V, A, R, okay, V, R, S, that is our uh, asymmetric variables, asymmetric variables, and then you come here and list the variable you want to look at the nonlinear effect, okay, so let's say we are uh, using a uh, lean of uh, external debt, Okay, and then let's say we are looking at the lean of our government expenditure, like this. You come and click out, and then you come back to your heading, and then make nonlinear here out there. You have your result. Okay, now this result is split the effect of positive and negative changes in uh, independent variable on the dependent variable. You see, this positive change effect of positive changes in external debt on uh, ASI. Or share index, and this is the effect of negative uh, uh, changes in the uh, estimate depth on um, 
uh, or share index you have the same for uh government expenditure you see positive negative okay now you can come in you can look look for the uh you can come back here and look for the short run and long run uh, non-linear relationship okay just come to coefficient diagnostics click on the contiguation long run form and then you have this is the short run non-linear effect and this is a longer non-linear effect so uh enjoy your study and do not forget to click on the subscribe button thank you